For 50 years, the ODQM, an organization part of the Council of Europe, has been contributing to protecting and promoting public health in Europe by implementing and monitoring the application of standards for medicine and their safe use. Since its beginning, the Council of Europe has adopted numerous recommendations covering ethical, social and scientific aspects of blood transfusion. It works closely with the European Medicine Agency and national control authorities. In 2013, the EDQM, PAI and the University of Munich organized an event with representatives from 36 countries. The objective of this meeting was to establish minimum standards of care for hemophilia and it resulted in seven recommendations valid in all 47 Council of Europe member states. I urge European governments to implement these guidelines to ensure better quality of life for people with bleeding disorders. These recommendations form a roadmap to adequate comprehensive care, to dignity and to reaching the goal of a healthy life for all people with bleeding disorders in Europe. The Haemophilia Council is a formal body that includes patients and organizations amongst others in decision-making towards cost-effective and sustainable haemophilia care. The minimum factor 8 consumption level in a country should be 3 international units per capita. Below this amount, joints and muscle damages and deaths are more likely. Decisions on whether to adopt new product should not be based solely on cost. It is paramount to have a long-term perspective and to take into account criteria such as product's quality, safety and efficacy. Prophylaxis is a real investment in terms of costs and bleed saved. It should be provided in individuals when required and for children with inhibitors who have failed or are not suitable for immune tolerance therapy. This is to avoid pain and disability. For patients with rare bleeding disorders, single factor concentrates should be used whenever possible. As many as 30% of patients with rare bleeding disorders are treated with non-specific products. This situation is unacceptable and needs to be rectified. The orphan drug legislation was developed to ensure access to treatment for patients with rare diseases and no treatment options. Haemophilia does not fit perfectly into this description. Regulators need to be aware of this issue and make sure that this legislation does not hinder patient access to treatment. Unfortunately, in many European countries, severe disability and sometimes early death are still a daily reality and sometimes well established and adequate treatment levels are being threatened due to financial pressures. These recommendations should be implemented and more importantly, they should be maintained no matter what changes in government, in political orientation or in political priority come along. Europe can do better for its citizens with haemophilia.